Good morning everyone. Praise the Lord. Today we are going to do math. So we are doing in math. What comes after, before and between. We have learned the after number in last video. Now we are going to learn about before number. Before that here we will see an example of before and after. So here we have a square, crescent and rectangle. So green, blue, excuse me. Red and here snake, green snake, and here is a dog. Sorry, cat, and here is a dog. So, before this is green so square, before a uh, square is in between. So, before the square uh, green, it is blue. You have blue rectangle. So, after the green square, you have red crescent. So, before the green square, you have blue. Rectangle. So after the green square, you have red crescent, and here you have a snake. So before the snake, you have your cat. So after the snake, you have dog. Before the snake, you have a cat. After the snake, you have dog. So this is an example. Just I'm showing you to understand better the before and after num after. And now here the number. Which comes after that is the forward counting is after number backward forward counting is after number backward counting is before forward counting it comes one after the other will read from up before number is will read from down so now we see for after number here is a six so after six what number you have Seven. So after six we have seven. That is three. After three, what number you will get? Four. So here is eight. After eight, what you will get? Nine. Here is one. After one, what you will get? Number two. So here is ten. After ten, what you will get? Eleven. Now we will see for before number. For before number, you will get a dash. Before the number here. So first you will get dash and then you will get number. So you should fill in that dash. Now here is 2. Before 2 what you will get? There is 2. 2 is here. So before 2 what you will get? Before 2 is number 1. So you will write here 1. Dash 4. So before 4 what you will get? 4 is here. Before 4 what you will get? 3. 4, 3. Before 4 you will get? 3 dash 16. Where is 16? 16 is here. So before 16, what you will get? 15. Before 16, you will get number 15. Now next is 18. Dash 18. So here is 18. Before 18, what you will get? Here is 18. Before 18, what you will get? Number 17. So you write here number 17. And here is 9. Before 9, what number you get? Here is 9. Before 9, 8. Before 9, 8. So this is the number which comes before. So the before number we will get dash first and then number. For after number, we will get first number and then you will get a dash. Now here we are going to do the backward counting. 20. Before 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. So before 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. After number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So after 1, you have 2. After 2, Three. And then after 3, 4. After 4, 5. After 5, 6. After 6, 7. After 7, 8. After 8, 9. After 9, 10. So after 10, 11. Then 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this is backward counting. Now... We will be sending you the homework in WhatsApp. So parents, teach them with lots of examples. 
for between uh, sorry before right after with the things which you can taste them like with vegetables also you can taste or with fruits or with utensils so use maximum the objects you require you want for them to get a better understand and the homework will be sending in whatsapp thank you so now we are going to do EBS the topic is about water so what are the uses we have in water how should we useful the water how should do we useful the water and we should not waste the water so water is very important now uh, here you have a rhyme time water for the beautiful flowers and water for the big shady trees water for the thirsty birds and water for the buzzing bees water for the bathing elephants and water for the naughty monkeys water for the juicy trees and water for mama's tea water for the cute baby and water for my body and sorry water for my boat and me so you can see in this line the use of water for everyone it is so here mommy and a child is drinking tea and here the honey bee is sucking the honey here and for this to get a flask also you need water and here also there is a vase in the vase we need water for the flask and here you can see the bird and fish the bird and no the bird is drinking the water and here the monkey is jumping from the tree to water and here the rain water is falling on the trees so when it falls so that it will not get dry and the boy is also leaving the boat into the water so we have water for everyone uses the water is very important so when we water the plant we will get beautiful flowers and when you water the big shady trees in tree when you water the tree what you will get you will get a cool hair and you will get a shadow water for thirsty birds and see the birds also are getting thirsty so wherever they feel thirsty they go and drink the water and water for buzzing bees the water you need for also the bees water for the boat elef bathing elephants so here is the elephant bathing in the water and also water for the naughty monkeys water for the juicy trees and water for mama's tea water is here for mama's tea so without water you cannot make a tea water for the cute baby and water for my boats and me so the boy is telling the water is for cute baby and for the boat the water is for boat boat and me and now the next page you have use of soft water how you are going to use the water water is one of the most essential thing in our life we use water in many ways so as i told you water is very important in our life we use water for everything to take bath we want water to wash our hands we want water and to wash your clothes you want water and also for cooking you want water you should water the plants all to get the flask so here are the few names that is the girl is here drinking water and here she is gardening that she is pouring the water and here mother is cooking so you need a water for this and also washing clothes so you need a water and bathing also you need a water and swimming pool also you need water here is a car the car the kids are wiping it with water so you need a water here also and here bathing animals here the cow they giving the bath to a cow so the cow was bathing so you have you need the water for all this purposes for drinking washing clothes for washing clothes cooking and then water in the garden watering the plants then watering for uh, bathing for the animals and washing the cars the washing the vehicles for everything you need the water and so this will be a homework tick the activities for which water is required so this one will be a homework by the page i will be sending in whatsapp so the next page will be doing the next
next class. Thank you.